coming up on this episode of The Village Idiom. Said, like, what's... Yeah, like, today's going to be off the hook. <laughs> like, just the look at the baffled look in her face. I said, what's something that you young people might say for off the hook? Your receptionist is a young people? She's a young people. And uh, she's like, I don't know, maybe, like, lit? I'm like, today's lit. It's gonna be it's gonna be so lit today. Am I using it correctly? <laughs> she just shakes her head. It's just... dum, dum, da, da, village idiom. Hello and welcome to the Village Idiom. We are a podcast that every week we choose a popular saying and take it. <laughs> don't laugh at me before I even I haven't made a mistake yet. An admittedly shallow, hopefully comedic, once in a while interesting, and if we're lucky, educational dive into its meaning, its usage, its origins. But mostly we're gonna use it to hang our otherwise directionless conversation on. My name is Jurassic Mark. I am skinny. What do you mean you didn't do anything? Fifth time's the charm. <laughs> it was it was it was literally you ready? Yep, we ready. Okay, and then I do my part and then you're like fiddling around with stuff no, in the I background. Just, I just all of a sudden turn and I'm like, did we press record on anything? <laughs> good but, good uh, producers are hard to find. <laughs> but we're working through it. I mean I'm gonna take it easy on you. I don't believe you already. Well, I, I could go harder I into don't, the into the paint here, but <laughs> I'm not. So you're letting me get away with it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm just, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to. What, uh, what you're really saying? I'm take oh, it easy. What you're, what you're really saying is, what you're really saying. You're off the hook. Is that what you're saying? You're off the hook on A this little one. Little Matthew Broderick for you. You're off the hook. One more time. You're so, off the hook. Awesome. Well, yeah. Yeah, it, it is. You're. Uh, I'm, I'm not holding you to account. I'm not. You can. Take it easy on your responsibilities. That would be the definition of it. Off the when hook. When you're freed from an obligation, you'd be off the hook. When I think of, uh, uh, so I don't know where it comes from, but I have some, uh, I think I have a great sn- sneaky suspicion. Yeah? Yeah, that would make sense where people go, oh, that makes sense. Well, we're going to get to it, but I'm going to give you three choices of where. Right it now? Came. Yeah, I'm going to start, start early so you can think about it. Okay. And but then we'll continue our conversation, but sure. uh, because I got creative this time, so it's three riddles. Oh dear! That are possible oh. orange stories. The legitimate children. See if you can figure these out. So is it one? Does off the hook come from a fish's wishes? Well, <laughs> or does it come from rotary nor? Oh crap! Rhododendron. Rotary notoriety. Wow, rotary notoriety. Oh, <laughs> the legitimate children. Rotary notoriety. Rotary notoriety. Or does it come from bad bard? Bad bard. Bad bard. Bad bard. Bad bard. <laughs> um, so, fish's uh, wishes, rotary notoriety, or bad bard. I like fish's wishes is where my brain's going, but we wouldn't get into the actual origins. Uh, do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have a? Do you have any moment like a recollection moment where you're like, oh. Off the hook. I got away with not not got away with, but all like on the weekly, all, every daily. I I remember one time in particular. It was a new job for me. Mm. I had a business trip to North Canton, Ohio. Wow! And I'm like brand spanking new in a you know management position for Western Canada, like a third of the country. And I had to go. I drive a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> okay, I get it. You're important. I, I had to go there and give a report for Western Canada. So it's one of those things where I've never had a, at that point, a professional, a job professional enough to give a spoken slash presentation sure. report in front of a room full of people. Did you have? So there's a. Did I'm, you have like I'm PowerPoints no, and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. No, no, I had. Overhead slides. Oh, wow. No, no. I think I just had handouts actually. Um, so I've never done it before. I'm new, so I don't know what I'm talking about. This is great already. And so I'm, I'm actually paranoid. And then I saw a couple people do the reports, and I'm like, oh, "There's bugs man. crawling on my arm. They, these are not like mine." Mm. And so I get up there. It's my turn to go, and no joke, this happens. I'm like, "Hey, everybody, introduce myself because I'm the newest." team player here, right? In management position, introduce myself. And I said, I've been in this position for this amount of months. And so as we go through my report today, anything positive you you notice is definitely because of the last three months. Anything negative will blame on the previous manager. Laughter, Who's in the crowd? Laughter, 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 a couple of hand claps even. They think it's hilarious. And then uh, the upper echelon of management steps in and he goes, ah, super awkward. I'm so sorry. Lunch is here. Um, <laughs> can we press pause on this? 
while you're you're in you're like i just delivered my zinger no 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 perfect go everybody's laughing we leave for lunch we never get time to go back to my report oh, that's even better i know so you go out with the as the funny guy yeah the the hero lunch yeah. hey guys okay yeah so we're in like the Good canadian report, buddy. canadian report is pretty low on the totem pole in the us oh sure so so i was like oh, right that was fantastic Right, because our whole the whole country's report is like less than California. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So yeah, it was great. So that was an off the hook moment that oh, that's like, funny. I day- so you're thinking, I like, still daydream about. You're thinking back to like kid in high school who's been asked to uh, give an oral assignment. Yeah, that's where your brain goes. Right. Oh, you're off the hook. Oh, that's so good. I didn't yeah. want to do that anyway. Or or you know, like the classic high school where it's like test test. Oh, we ran out of time. We're gonna have a test on Monday. I was more thinking. <gasps> Weekend to study. So good. I was more thinking of um, like uh, household duties when he said duty when <laughs> when <laughs> when household uh, like obligations for like okay you're on dinner for Friday and then Friday rolls around and it's like oh actually so and so dropped off a we pizza. Got invite yeah. to, uh, this, you know so and so's house and so they're and they're making burgers and you're yeah. like oh, okay does this count as mine like, yeah still like that still counts that still counts that was mine. Friday. Th- I called them. <laughs> so I was thinking more of that off the yeah. hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. good. Yeah, and then there's like this other angle. Or like when you're arrested and um, and you're like, oh, this could be it for me. And you, you, Like you're going to jail? Yeah, and then they're like, oh, wrong guy. <laughs> like those times when you're like, <laughs> when the cyber enforcement team comes and they're going through like the company computer and it has like, all like stuff related to you on it, and then it's like, oh, actually, it wasn't you. And then you're like, Ooh. like, yeah. <laughs> it seems so specific. The more specific you make it, the worse it is. Oh, that's funny. Okay, well, talking about crime, then. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know how we ha- we often have a good idea that we have a legitimate good children. crime idea. No, not not a good crime idea. Just a general. Like, I bet a, we could a, come up with a crime good idea. idea. Just like a good idea for the legitimate children to try out there in the world. Or okay, so here here's the deal. We do a fish and chip spot run by criminals called wait, Off the Hook. Wait, is that? <laughs> but only we only have previously incarcerated people. Running the place, I and mean, like full out neck, neck tats, so the whole deal. So it's a, uh, it's a rehabilit. It's an opportunity for these guys. It's an opportunity for uh, reinstating themselves into yes, the workforce. Get back into the workforce. Good job. And I don't think people will mess with them. <laughs> and, and it's called off the hook. That's pretty great. Off the hook. I was laughing. I people at- would support it because they want to help people be rehabilitated, give them a fair shake. Yeah. And it has amazing fish and chips. Well, see, now you said fish and chips. Did I? I said see, fish and chips. I was making, I was about to make a joke, and then I thought, well, your idea is actually really good. Because you, like, imagine a fish and chip place. And I thought that was the joke. They get a piece of fish and one fry. <laughs> fish and chip? Well, fish and chip. That'd be good. Where's the rest of my fries? Look at the sign. <laughs> fish and fish chip. Fish and chip. It like looks the like there's piece? an S, but it's crossed off. <laughs> it looks like a dollar sign. <laughs> If you want the, if you want plural, it costs. Served by the California Highway Patrol. Hilarious fish and chips. What if it's <laughs> off the hook with fish and chips, but chips is C H little lowercase i, P lowercase s. <laughs> so everyone is either a felon or from law enforcement. Yes. Fish and chips, and you can order a fruit punch. <laughs> Would you like fruit punch? <laughs> If you eat there too much, you get a punch. The Estrada sauce. <laughs> Is your Estrada sauce, sauce spicy? <laughs> it would have to be. It's Eric Estrada sauce. Cold queso? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just to change things it up. Could ease, wasn't his partner, it was so John Poncherello something and John Baker? I think it was Baker. Like, like the televangelist? That's Jim. Oh, yeah. Jay Baker. Yeah. It's John. It's for sure John. John and Punch. Punch and John. Punch and Judy. Judy and Fritz. <laughs> Is that a thing? Could be. <laughs> I didn't have anything fast enough, so I just made up something. <laughs> That's good. I should have just gone with it. <laughs> okay, Fritz. So, it's a fish and chip joint uh, that is either you are a previous felon 
or ex law enforcement or current. Well, they're already in the job. Well, you said so they have to be previous. What if they're future? It has to be a previous felon, or can it be a current or future felon? <laughs> well, I think you have to sign up future felons <laughs> and put them in charge of the cash register. <laughs> right. That makes sense. So, if you are previous felons, they serve you through the bars, the bars on a tray, a, on a tray, on the ground. They slide it on the they ground. They slide it on the ground to you. And they're just rude. And every once in a while, and in the bathrooms, the stainless steel you. toilets with no seats. Wow, we are on to something. Well, I would go there just to like. Have you gone to fish and chips? And the only dessert is a cake. But when you slice into it, <laughs> it's got a file. There's in a it? file in it. <laughs> but it's a file. But it's actually like uh, sugar candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's like, so it's like a, it's it's an edible file, but yeah. Huh. That'd be a fantastic. An file. Yeah, well, that could be a reason why you're an ex, you're, you're, you're a felon, I guess. <laughs> so the uniforms are obviously. I told oh, him do, you go, do you go jailhouse rock stripes or do you go prison orange for the well, uniform? I, I I would do orange. Work uniform is orange. Yeah, that makes that makes good sense to me. Yeah. And do you have one guy with a hook for a hand? Was like, like Peter Pan. Well, just off the hook. Goes with the theme. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. that's not even... Fish and chips isn't even today's idiom. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Off the hook. It's off about, the hook. It's off the hook. So, uh, yeah. So That's the name of this place that the, we're... Ima- imaginary place that we're... <laughs> We've already gone. We're going for lunch today. Yeah. Fish and chips. Either in Off cars, the hook. Yes. But it's, Want to go to off the hook for lunch? Absolutely. What do they serve there? Fish and chip. With an S, <laughs> it's a dollar sign. Fishes and chip. Well, that's that. That's completely ridiculous. Yeah, it's a good idea though. It was a little Calvin and Hobbes moment there. Which part? Just the whole slipping into a daydream <laughs> while we're actually Seriously. filming a podcast. Well, yeah. whatever. Yeah, that's great. Uh, like I'm still coming up with ideas. You're thinking it's in White Rock. I'm, yeah, I know. I'm yeah, I know. I knew you were in it out right yeah. now. Yeah, metal trays. I really like the tray idea. So do, you, yeah. Order through the bars and the whole bit. Yeah. And every once in a while, you just spit out on the customers. And. No, that, that part's terrible. I wouldn't do that. And when you eat. Mm-hmm. So if there's you and me here and two other people across the table from us, there's glass between us. And you have to talk to each other over <laughs> a receiver. Yeah, that's that sounds like a bit of a biohazard. But uh, how about people in the restaurant portion? That I was talking about the restaurant portion. Yes, but they have to, like, where they sit is a big deal. And certain groups. C-box? Yes. And so that's how you get, like, you know, I'll, I'll bring you your tray. Or, um, you know, if, if you're guessing, if you're serving it through the bars, I was just thinking it's like, it would be a fun way to identify tables. Like, right. C-block. C-block. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Number four table in C-block. That's, yeah. That's but, great. Yeah, that'd be great. Fantastic idea. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. It's not even <laughs> like we're and at do the it. door. Like, okay. At the door, there's, okay. there's. I mean, it's lots of places just have a security guard, but it just has that warden, security, uh, prison guard look. Frisks you. He's as, the greeter as you come in. Hmm. He frisks you. He's <laughs> got a metal detector wand. Oops. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, off the hook. The <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> Anyways, it was a great idea. So yeah, that's that's it for uh, off the. This is uh, this is the kind of idea that somebody on uh, Arrested Development would run with, and uh, and their dad would be running the place. The money is in the fish and chip stand. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, it's in the battery. We should probably get to a little bit more about where this thing comes from. Battery. Uh, would you like pepper and salt s- and salt and <laughs> battery? Fish, like you, the fish is battered. I'm working on something here. <laughs> yeah, you could get it. All yeah. right, let me remind you of your choices of where off the or hook. Or they fry the, the fish in an electric chair. <laughs> one, one one chair is a <laughs> does look like an electric chair in the restaurant. That's amazing. Just one, like as a photo booth, except that you can like put in like five bucks and give your friend a jolt in the bum. <laughs> 
because people right. that'd be another way to make some money right as part of the deal there's a taser in there <clears throat> that I might re- be a little too much <laughs> it might be a much but uh, i like i like all of this all of it mm. okay does off the hook as an idiom come from a fish's wishes rotary notoriety or bad bard i i off the uh, hook i think fishing fish hooks off the hook fish's wishes is where i'm going the legitimate children now's your chance uh press two on your <laughs> on, on your radio for fish's wishes press one call 800 for rotary notoriety press two for bird's bad bard mm-hmm. press three Let's see where it comes from. I said some words. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? No one can know. I turned around and looked behind. Those words came from another mind. Origin. So our whole intro went exactly how I hoped it would go. Okay. Because uh, probably the most interesting thing about today's idiom is that it actually has more than one usage and meaning. Oh, right. So we went with the obvious. Like if somebody is let off the hook, they're uh, they're they're released. And you're absolutely right. The origin of the idiom "off the hook" can be found in fishing. A fish on the hook has been caught and is considered to be out of options. Right? It's trapped unless it's released. And just like a fish off the hook, someone who's off the hook has been released from their obligations or their commitments One on the or whatever. So, than two in the bush. So a fish's wishes mm-hmm. is is exactly right. Um, so, but I'm going to, I'm going to give you some other options that you probably have thought of, but we didn't talk about yet. So first of all, this expression started to increase in popularity in the mid 1800s, but could have existed as far back as the 1700s. Uh, the term, because the term on the hook dates back to the 17th century. So off the hook became popular sometime after on the hook. So on the hook is literally the complete opposite of today. So we'll probably never cover it in its own idiom because it's it they, they work hand in hand. You're either on the hook for something or you're off the hook. Okay, so I had a whole nother vein of, and maybe it's more colloquial, that this is off the hook. Okay, so that's coming. Okay. So that is a different meaning. That's, that's one of three. Wow. Yeah. Okay, this is deep. So, um, but the on the hook, like, if you're, I am on the hook for 50 bucks for... Like if a fishing company says that they will provide bait for your fishing there on the hook for that, and if you lose the bait, do you get a rebate? <laughs> That's a good question. Makes sense. Is that why it's called rebating? Maybe. Okay. That's yeah. good. Move on. Um, <laughs> if you had an expert fisherman help you. No, let me let me continue. <laughs> So you're on the hook for something. The only problem I had with with that part, like if you're on the hook, it means you are you, Ob- you are trapped into this obligation. Except for in sales, I think you I think you can say ah, I've got one on the hook, and it's not a done deal. Mm. It's like you got to still reel it in. So there's a couple meanings of on the hook as well, but off the hook came sometime after the usage of on the hook. So just like you just said, if something is off the hook, the new meaning of off the hook originated in American rap music, as you probably would have guessed, and the whole hip-hop culture, and is used to describe a party or uh, is used to describe something completely out of control, like this this podcast is off the hook, something like this one here. That was off the hook crazy! Right? Like, <laughs> it doesn't the mean they're, they're, they're relieved of responsibility. They're just like, it was off the hook crazy. And it came from... Um, uh, hip hop culture, however, you know, slang usage and all that kind of stuff. So that's the second meaning of off the hook. We've got the first one, which is you're relieved of duty Two, uh, American rap, hip hop culture. You are just like, it's crazy. It's, it's insane. It's out of control. And, and then the third one is here. I'll play you one more clip. I got a clip for each of them because I'm that prepared today. Okay. And third one, which is this one, which is a little bit dated. The phone's ringing off the hook. What? The phone is ringing off the hook. Now, that one clearly came from rotary phones. Well, it doesn't have to even be rotary, um, where you literally hung your phone in the cradle. Mm -hmm. And 
it was if your phone was just ringing and ringing and ringing all day long, it, you would exaggerate and say it rang off the hook, like it fell right off the wall. Hmm. Um, and so, I but I'm almost thinking that the hip hop version, that party was off the hook, kind of comes from that usage of a phone ringing off the hook. Were you with me in that when we did that escape room downtown and we had like. A set of parents and a ch- and a kid, yes. like maybe an eight to ten year old. Yeah, and one of the things involved using a rotary phone, and they didn't know what to do. They didn't with know it. what to do, and we just watched them and the parents struggle watched for them. a minute. Yeah, it's like watch this. Like, they yeah, didn't. yeah, yeah. That was that was pretty neat escape room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had yeah you had to enter the phone over. They just could not figure out how to use it. But the reason that is still an idiom, <clears throat> your phone is ringing off the hook, is we no longer have our phones on hooks. Mm-hmm. But you still like. I mean, you probably nowadays you say your phone's blowing up, but I still would say, yeah, it's been ringing off the hook all day. And everybody knows what I mean, but there is no hook. There's sometimes no ringing, <laughs> but you still say your phone's ringing off the hook. So uh, that that's three different usages of off the hook. Sure, um, that makes sense. Yeah, but the main one is being relieved of some responsibility that you had. Um, yeah. That sounds good to me. Did you ever? You're you're old enough to have had phones like this. Where did your parents ever take the phone off the hook to avoid calls? Like, yeah, we're not we're not being interrupted today. The phone is off the hook. I, I know what you're referring to. Uh, n- not so much. Um, we're more in the era of that. If you had your phone not receiving, that your phone would just scream at you. Oh yeah, that's right. To let you know that it was off the hook. That's right. I forgot about that. I remember this, like, sc- it scared me at the time, this story about, because back pre, uh, pre-answering pre machines, so pre-voicemail, pre-answering machines, mm-hmm. your phone just rang. And so what was the number of times you let it ring before you hung up? on? If you called me back then, how many times did you let it ring before you just hang up? Three, four, mate, max. And then call you back a bit later. Yeah, it was the always was five you, to me. I would use it as a warning. Like, the first one is a warning that I'm trying to, like... <laughs> if I call, if it rings three times, I hang up and call again, it's me. Like that? Yeah, well, it was... Uh, well, just all that stuff was different. We were excited about getting a phone call. Now right. I, now I can't stand getting phone calls. Right. It's like, don't call me. I remember... Just text me. I remember... Drop me a message. Having a girlfriend in high school. Who just calls? Like, text me to say that you're going to call. <laughs> that's right. But don't just call. What kind of savage are you? <laughs> that's that's actually very true. And if you do call, I'm assuming you're some sort of soliciting person. And the lengths you had to go to. I had a girlfriend in, in grade 12 who would call very, <laughs> very late at night. <laughs> that was a Pinocchio nose growth there. Um, but my we, we just had a house landline. Now, I did have a phone in my room, but it's the same phone that everybody in the house had. Right. And you, you shared, you pick up a receiver anywhere, you hear what's going on. And so in order to allow late night phone calls, whether it was her or any of my buddies, um, they, I would have to sneak into my parents' room before they went to bed and I would just pull, unplug their phone a little bit so it looks plugged in to the wall. Classic. But unplug it so that I could, only my room would ring. And uh, a pillow over it or something? And then after they got up in the morning, go and plug it back in. Because so they never wanted to answer the phone. No, anything like past ten o'clock or was like uncivilized. Yeah, like what kind of children are you raising that would call somebody <laughs> exactly past ten o'clock? Exactly. Anyway, my phone didn't ring off the hook, <laughs> but it rang once in a while, and I was excited. It imaginary rang just like your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, just like your <laughs> fish and chips restaurant. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> well. <laughs> That's uh, that's some pretty interesting things. Three options for off the hook. Three options. The Vicious Wishes children. was correct. Work in its that origins. into your your word usage today. Off the hook. Um, I was coming into the office. Uh, I was in the office this morning and I talked to the receptionist, and uh, knowing that this was happening, I said like, "What? Yeah, like today's going to be off the hook." <laughs> and like just the look at the baffled look in her face. I said, what's something that you young people might say for off the hook? Your receptionist is a young people? She's a young people. And uh, she's like, I don't know, maybe like lit? I'm like, today's lit. It's going to be so lit today. Am I using it correctly? 
<laughs> she just shakes her head. Just... Yeah, so... I've heard you use lit correctly. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I could in the proper context, but trying to use it... In... Off the chain is another one, which is same as off the hook, right? Look, I don't know, gas, whatever. We'll save it for another day. Oh, episode okay. 1010. Off the chain. Remember episode 324? I'm Same guessing thing. it doesn't have a good background. No, I I, I came across it. <laughs> it's it's, it's modern, it. but it has to do with uh, slavery and being released. That's what I was going to guess. Yeah. So that's not good. Which is also being let off the hook. I, I guess. Probably just best to leave that one. Just leave it all. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll agree. It's, it's just not a good thing. We'll move have- forward. And uh, get into some Riddlings. Riddling is a game we'd like to play. It takes a two-part trivia-based question, requires a two-part overlapping answer, overlapping by sound, syllable, word, or word. So, for example, last week, we did the idiom uh, neck of the woods, if you remember, and we left all our illegitimate children with this one. My corner of the world is a lumber-burning cooker. My corner of the world is a lumber-burning cooker, and the answer would be... Neck of the wood stove. That's it. Neck of the wood stove. Um, so it's not my neck of the woods. It's not stove. Wood stove. It's wood neck of the wood stove. Neck of the wood stove. Makes sense. So that's how you play Real Link. I got a couple for today. I got a couple. Of illegitimate children. Let's see if uh, you can beat Jurassic Mark to the punch here. Punch. You- <laughs> beat me to the punch. <laughs> Full circle, baby. You are released from this obligation of barb, wire, and weight. You are released from this obligation of barb, wire, and weight. And weight. And oh, oh, I see what you're saying. I thought it was was hardwire. You are released from this obligation of barb, barb, wire, and weight. Got it now. I'm going to go with off the hook, line, and sinker. That's it. Village of Children, you may have you may have won that one. That's yeah, the only problem with that one is uh, barbed wire. I, I now only have one to give you. Oh no! Yeah, want me to do my second one? Do your second okay, one. Okay, I'll okay. leave mine. Okay. No, let's leave yours for them. I'll give you one. We'll go back and forth. Well, what if I have it? Then, then don't answer. Okay. But I, I'd be surprised if you had this one. Okay. Thinly stripped cow meat in a sour cream sauce is cray cray up in here. Is it yours? You have the same one. No. Oh, let me read it again because I, re- I, I know what it is. I really enjoy yeah, the, the puzzle part of this. <laughs> Thinly stripped cow meat in sour cream sauce is cray cray up in here. <laughs> uh, beef stroking off the hook. That's it. That's so funny. <laughs> Strips of cow meat is cray cray up in here. <laughs> so, your your rapidness is is showing. Okay. All right, uh, this, uh, let me tell everybody how they can get a hold of us. If you want to reach out to us, you can find us. I can't. I don't even. I, I would need to have it written Instagram down. Instagram at the dot village dot idiom or email us the village idiom podcast at gmail.com. Or whether it's the Facebooks, the YouTubes, or the Twitters at three minutes gone. Perfect. Give it to them. Okay. And I take my glasses Remind off. Remind myself and not to answer this. Do not answer. Do not answer. Do not Dad answer. Dad says this when he wants you to. Oh, sorry, my phone just turned off. Dad says this when he wants you to stop and release you from responsibility. Read it again. Dad says this when he wants you to stop and release you from responsibility. And that is three minutes gone. Interesting. I don't I don't have it. Dad says this when he wants you to stop. Yeah. Oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> it's back now. Yeah, I got it. I okay. can hear I can actually hear my dad now. <laughs> yeah, just, just shut your eyes. That is such a dad, like yeah. our dad generation. Yeah. Wow. Because do you say that? Yeah. It's oh, you do? Bit, yeah. I don't think I say it, but my dad for sure says it. Yeah. Well. Huh. And hopefully you have legitimate children's dads that, uh, say that's it. A, that's an idiom, I think. Is it? Well, it, it could be. Yeah. Because yeah. nothing is happening when right. such a thing is being said. <laughs> Without giving too many things Speaking away of the things. Speaking in code here. Well, it was fun putting today's episode together. I loved every minute have of it. Have an amazing day, legitimate children. I'm Skinny. I'm Jurassic Mark, and these are the village idioms. Last three minutes gone.